Good evening. Welcome to BMC News Live presented by Al Hilal Hospitals and Medical Centers. I am Jisila Mujib joining you with the daily news updates. Today's news in detail. Bahrain hosted the 6th edition of International Space Forum. Mohammed bin Tamar Al Khabi, the Minister of Transport and Communications and Chairman of the National Space Science Agency, emphasized the importance of hosting the 6th International Space Forum at ministerial level, the Gulf chapter in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The forum held for the first time in the Middle East and North Africa region is supported by the International Astronautical Federation and the Italian Space Agency and focuses on discussing the future of space exploration. Ministry of Telecommunications and the Gulf Air Group holding company signed Golden Sponsorship Agreement. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and Gulf Air Group holding company signed a Golden Sponsorship Agreement for the Bahrain International Air Show 2024, which will be held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Izal Khalifa during November 13 to 15 at the Sakir Air Base. The Bahrain International Air Show 2024 is organized in collaboration between the Bahrain Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Royal Bahraini Air Force and Farnborough International. The Coast Guard conducted inspection campaigns to address maritime violations. The Coast Guard conducted inspection campaigns to address maritime violations and ensure sailors and fishermen compliance with fishing regulatory rules. The Coast Guard patrols have implemented land and sea campaigns in the northern coastal areas including checking maritime licenses and the availability of safety equipment for small ships. Bahrain participated in the Permanent Independent Commission for Human Rights meeting. Ambassador Dr. Arwa Hazan Al Sayed, Chief of Human Rights Affairs and member of the Permanent Independent Commission for Human Rights participated at the meeting of the 23rd regular session of the Permanent Independent Commission for Human Rights of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation under the title The Impact of Artificial Intelligence on Human Rights, Challenges and Opportunities. Now we go for a short commercial break. All your favorite products under one roof in Bahrain from our 14 branches at 27 year old Megamart and Macromart Bakery Fresh meat and fish Fruits and vegetables Sweets and snacks, ready to eat foods. Dairy products, grocery or consumer goods. To have a wonderful shopping experience, please visit your nearest Megamart Macromart branch. Megamart and Macromart, full of goodness.
Welcome back. Abu Dhabi Quality and Conformity Council launched UAE's first honey quality laboratory. M42, a first of its kind tech enabled global health powerhouse in partnership with the Abu Dhabi Quality and Conformity Council, has launched the UAE's first and only fully equipped honey testing laboratory. The state of the art facility honey quality laboratory is supported by M42's environmental sciences team and is designed to ensure the quality, safety and authenticity of honey products, setting new standards for the industry. World Meteorological Organization lauded Saudi meteorology's contribution to Hajj season success. The season of Saudi Arabia chaired the ninth meeting of the Arab Committee for Meteorological Awareness and Information held at the headquarters of the General Secretariat of the Arab League in Cairo. The committee expressed appreciation to Saudi Arabia and the Saudi National Center for Meteorology for their efforts during this year's Hajj season and for utilizing great capabilities in this regard. Now news from India. At least 121 people killed in a stampede at a religious event in India. The death toll from a stampede at a Hindu religious congregation in northern India has risen to 121, where a police report said a number of people present were more than a triple the permitted capacity. The stampede on Tuesday was at the religious event in the village in Hatras district of Uttar Pradesh state. At least 121 people were killed and 28 were injured, news agency reported. With this, we come to the end of today's news. Thank you so much for watching and this is Jasila Mujib signing off. Good night.